Today's how to build is how to turn your normal, ordinary dragon into a fancy aristocratic dragon. So the bulk of this how-to is going to be a really specific tutorial on how to modify the Ninjago Earth Dragon into the fancy dragon I used in um, the end of sports, but real quickly I just wanted to talk about some other ways to make a fancy dragon. So. Um, this little guy down here, which I think of as a humming dragon, uh, starts out as the uh, dinosaur from the cheapest uh, of the dino sets. And, uh, you know, the three keys of making somebody look like a fancy aristocrat are top hats, monocles, and canes. He's already got something of a monocle in a ring around his eye, so he's uh, already ha a third of the way there. But, um,. For a cane, I've taken a little robot claw and a black lightsaber thing, and uh, because his hands are rubbery, they don't hold things well, even though they're the right shape, so I've used some animating putty to uh, help it stay in place. Um, so that's his little cane there. And then the hat, he doesn't have any holes on his head, so again, stuck some putty in there and sticking it on his head. And then, of course, um, you know, is he just now a fancy raptor? Uh, to make sure that we know he's a dragon, gonna add some wings. Um, so this is a dark tan plate. I it's the only one by two plate I had in dark tan, so I had to wing it a little bit. No pun intended there. Um, then a one by one clip uh, and a one by two plate with a handle on it. Uh, for the wings, and then a big uh, dark green piece. This again is showing you my limited selection of pieces in dark tan and dark gray, but this was the best I could do, given my part selection, uh, to give him some wings. I think he looks like a nice little humming dragon. Uh, you know, like a hummingbird, but dragon. Except he'd be Lord Humming Dragon of Hummingsworth. Dragonville, whatnot. Pip pip. So that's him. And then this is uh, Zundar, uh, sort of like Willy Wonka a little bit. Um, so uh, this top hat is not an official Lego top hat. It's from uh, Guy Himber, uh, also known as V&A v Steamworks. And I'll put a link in the description for that. Again, using putty to hold it on to Zundar's head up here. Uh, it can open up his mouth a little bit. Uh, the monocle over here is a big uh, trans purple magnifying glass. And again, with a little robot arm uh, to put it at a 90 degree angle, since his hand can only go in one direction. And just put that in place so that it uh, lines up with his eye right there. And then his cane is again the same just a trans purple lightsaber blade from Mace Windu and a uh, robot arm for holding in his dragon hand. And then you've got a little aristocratic. So now let's get to the Earth Dragon. So you bought a Ninjago Earth Dragon and put it toge together the way it says in the instruction manual and now you want to make it into a fancy dragon like mine. So here's what you need to do. Um, I've took, taken some pieces off already, like the stupid flags and the little handles where they hold on and, you know, that stuff and whatever ninja would be up there. Cole, I guess. I don't really know their names. All right, so first thing, we're going to take off the tail. So there's a little piece like this that pulls out and there should be a couple pieces that pop out. Um, the tail should then look like this and pull off whatever is sticking out of that thing because we won't need it. So take off your tail and keep this piece. Um, next, uh, take off the feet, the front two feet, that is. Dragon's not gonna like that. Um, put your feet over there. Um, take off these uh, green wingy things, scale things on the front. Um, should look like two of these that you take off. Uh, I've taken off that bottom shiny piece on this one, but put those to the side. 
Uh, take off the head, which will look slightly different than mine because I've already modified this head. But take off the head so you just have the uh, little nub on the front. And then flip it over. I'll zoom in for this. Uh, take off this 2x6 plate, which when you disconnect should also take the bottom legs with it. And then pull out this piece. Uh, that goes this direction. Now what you want to do is you want to find in your Lego collection a very similar piece that points in the opposite direction. So rather than going left to right, it goes up and down. And then substitute that in. So reconnect this, put your 2x6 with the legs backs on, and now we'll have a dragon that can sort of sit upright and bend forward, as opposed to bending side to side like the old one did. Now next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the legs off down here, zoom in on this a little bit, and uh, reposition them like that. So again, take the leg off, twist it 90 degrees, now he can sort of stand on his own a little bit. We're going to take the tail and this piece, and we're going to put the tail on in a different direction than it went before. So going through that hole at the bottom, put your little key through, and then tilt the tail in this direction because we want to be able to make it go up and down as he's impatient and twirl around and whatnot. What ho. All right, now we need to deal with his hands. Uh, since his feet and hands are now different. So this is what the old foot looked like. So we're gonna take the uh, ball socket joint off, and then we're gonna take one of these pieces, if you have it, or some other little hand, and connect it going uh, in that direction. And then put a uh, claw on there to look like a thumb. And now he has something that looks a little more like an actual hand and do the same thing in reverse for the other hand. So like that, and like that. Put that on the other hand. And now he can uh, sort of grab things in a more realistic manner, slightly more realistic. Um, then with the fins that we took off, so, um, so on this one, we're gonna take off the shiny plate, which I already did, shiny plate. Take off this one by two plate, and put that here. And then we're gonna stick this on like that. So it flies up that way. And then the other one, we're gonna put at the very top. So where those two things connect with the uh, brown plate right on top of that. And then it'll tilt down right over that uh, pointy thing there, which I think is pretty cool. We'll tilt the scales up a little bit. Uh, and then it makes a, have a nice little spine there, I think. Um, and now we'll move on to the head. So in order to make this dragon's uh, mouth uh, be very poseable for animation, I had to rebuild it. So this is a three long uh, pin going into a 90 degree axle to axle connector. Um, then we've got some pin to axle connectors like that. And then below that, we're gonna do the same thing, three long pin, but just with a straight down axle to pin uh, and two more of those axle to pins line everything up like this. Yep, and then uh, connect them with two, two axles. And then um, down here, we're gonna connect with a two axle. Up here, we're going to use a three. Then the headpiece of the dragon goes on up here. 
Um, and then the mouthpiece goes on down there. And now you have a jaw that you can pose anywhere. And I like rah, rah, rah. And the head can move as well, depending on what you want moving. Uh, and then back here, so then I just took uh, one of these uh, ball joint connectors, a three long axle, and this little um, sand green cone just to add the beginning of spikes on his back and uh, connect it like that. Then this goes on to the ball socket where his head used to go, except now it's pointing a different direction. So you can see we're almost there. Now we just need to do the hat and monocle. Do, do, do. Now he can talk. Rah, rah, rah. So the hat and the monocle. Uh, so this is a big uh, six wide radar dish in black. Black is so shiny, shiny. Uh, then these are just two, um, I don't know what you'd even call them, round Technic engine pieces things. That sounds like an official name. Uh, and then this is just a, uh, what is that? Five wide, five long axle with a two by two uh, round plate. Uh, one engine piece goes through there. The other engine piece goes like that. Uh, this fits on here. We've got another two by two plate in the bottom there. Um, then uh, one of these T pieces pushed through that plate at the bottom. Uh, connect it nice and firmly. So then for the monocle, using uh, old style robot arms, one of those, uh, a pinch bot arm, another ro old style robot arm connected there, um, then this T-bar piece, which will be very important, that's the same one that we stuck in the bottom of the hat there, um, and then sticking out this way, got a chain, long chain, stuck on a magnifying glass, and then that's gonna go on the robot arm. And then all of this, we uh, lean his head down so we can see it. Uh, so there's these little holes in the top of his head. Um, we're gonna stick a T-bar in the middle one so that it points forward and then uh, adjust our robot arms so that the monocle lands in front of his eye. Uh, and the hat is on top of his head now, of course. And then the chain, we're gonna connect to this little uh, thing in the back of his neck so it looks like it's going somewhere important. And then if we stand him back up, zoom out we've got a fancy dragon boop a doo doo